Insurance people of Reddit, what is the most outrageous claim that you have ever come across? I worked for workman's compensation insurance. A few claims stand out. My favorite one was the guy who thought he was being followed by the FBI. He wasn't. And so when he turned left and the car behind him also turned left, he, without hesitation, jumped into the passenger seat then jumped out of the passenger seat's door and rolled into a ravine while the truck, his work truck, smashed into two other cars parked at a gas station. The person behind him was just like what the actual frick just happened I could not stop laughing while getting his account of what happened. Imagine watching the driver in front of you turn around, see you, look terrified, then next thing you know they have jumped out of the vehicle. Honorable mention was the campground that had a huge plastic, hollow, dinosaur statue. The owner had hired a guide to repair paint the dinosaur and while he was halfway in the mouth he lost his balance and fell in, breaking his leg. Injury wise it was minor but the lady who owned the campground just made the claim unforgettable. She, for no reason at all, I got the info I needed in the first call and required no other contact with her, insisted on emailing me this funny little letters about the incident. An example of an email. Good afternoon. Sim 12345. Just thought you'd like to know Doug the dinosaur is doing great. He is doing much better with his diet. Has only gobbled up 3 more people since we last talked we believe in time we may be able to rid him of his addiction to human flesh and truly domesticate him as part of the family. Cheers. So yeah, that was weird. Dino lady is awesome. I used to work for a fire water damage restoration company. We show up to a water damage job. Turns out, this guy is trying to turn his one story house into a two story house and has hired some Amish guys to do the job. At this point, pretty much the entire house is roofless. As in, you look up anywhere from inside the house and see sky. When the Amish dudes finished working the day before they didn't cover up the house. It rained that night, soaked the entire inside of the house. Insurance covered it, so we spend the day cutting and pulling out soaking wet carpet while the Amish continued working above. I crap you not, they don't cover the house again, and it rains again. Insurance covered that too. We talked to the adjuster and she just had this defeated look on her face. The claim was in the $100,000 S and she said these people were basically getting a new house. Haven't seen that much stupidity rewarded that well in a long time. The upside though, after the second night, they started covering up the house. Sonafab. My water heater leaked and ruined half my house in January and the insurance barely paid to replace the floors. They wrote up everything that needed replacing. Drywall. Lights. Floors. Ceilings but the check was not enough to cover all that. Had a claims assessor telling me about the time someone claimed a car ran into their garden wall and knocked it down. Apparently as he showed up to confirm the damage the guy was just starting to knock the wall down with a sledgehammer. Wow and I thought I was bad at procrastination. I handle public liability claims for various agencies and large corporate firms. Had a couple who tried to claim from the park management agency for pain and suffering from mosquito bites. They were having a picnic in the park. This is in Asia by the way, where mosquitoes are a daily occurrence. Also had someone try to claim for injuries sustained from tripping over an uneven tile outside of a shopping mall. CCTV footage from our client, the mall, revealed he had clearly noticed the tile, looked around to see if anyone was watching, then threw himself on the ground. This makes me so mad. A few years ago I slipped in a grocery store because there was yogurt on the ground. Really hurt my hip and is still screwed to this day. I was so embarrassed that I had yogurt all over me quickly paid for my groceries and walked out. Biggest regret of my life. Former auto claims adjuster here. Had a guy get into a head on collision with a semi truck because it veered into his lane. Walks away from the crash without injury. Tells me on the phone that he is so lucky to be alive and has a guardian angel watching over him. Get another claim a week later where another semi truck veers into his lane and kills him. Final destination crap. I had a guy once who would submit a claim every few months because he kept crashing his corvette at 2am. Never any cops called, but I'm 100% sure it's due to drinking. After the fifth time, I stop hearing from him. Turns out his roommate beat him to death with a hammer. I've spotted shady body shops raided for fraud in the past who have told me they are going to sue me for defamation after I've asked the customer to move shops. 
Kid once called in a claim lying about what happened and who was driving his car. We caught him because he made a Facebook post on that day saying what actually happened. Ended up denying the claim because the actual driver had a suspended license. Kids, keep your crap private because everyone is watching. One time actually informed an insured that his car had been in an accident. He didn't know because his mechanic took a ride out in the insured's nice car without the owner's permission. Had a guy at a construction site back a bobcat into his own personal car. Technically, insurance follows the owner not the driver, so really the owner of the company's insurance is liable. The owner was p that his insurance has to pay the worker even though the worker backed into his own car. And that would be an easy way to get insurance money. Rules are rules though. A lady made a claim that stated a group of men dressed in all black who moved like ghosts snuck under her house and stole her copper pipes, and expertly installed PVC to replace it. That one was reason 8542 why I got out of that business. I work in the stolen vehicle department at my company. Long story short, our policy holder has a caddy and parked it while working on a storefront. He noticed someone stealing his vehicle. So as the thief is taking off he jumps on the running boards of his vehicle. Since he was working in construction, he pulled out a Phillips head from his back pocket and proceeded to stab the thief in the face multiple times. The thief crashed and the man beat the ever living crap out of him. Cops didn't do anything to our policy holder though, which surprised me. Sounds completely fair. I work at a call center that contracts roadside assistance for most major insurance companies. Any adjuster or CA agent would know who we are, but we seem to act as a switchboard for some of the insanely stupid, some gems. I'm locked inside my car. Physical locks, not electronic. Can you dispatch someone to put the stickers on my license plate? I don't understand why I have to file a claim. I only flipped my car 8 times, hit 2 people, 4 deer and a largish tree. Why can't I just be towed? The car is fine. Tell me now damn it. My car is flooding. Most of these stories are word of mouth from colleagues. This one happened to me last week when Texas was an underwater level. And my all time favorite. What do you mean I'm not covered? I pay, large number, a month for my insurance. Just tow me damn it. That's nice. But most of our contracts charge like less than $5 a month per car for roadside assistance. I handled basically all the heavy duty rollover claims. Anything from box trucks to 18 wheelers and bigger. If it rolled over it got put on my lap. I have two claims that stick in my mind. One sticks because of what the guy told me went through his mind. The other cause its action flick awesomeness. 1. 18 wheeler driving down the highway at approximately 65 miles per hour. The highway opens to two lanes to go right three stay straight. Our 18 wheeler is traveling in the third lane to go straight. A vehicle in front, a tiny and ancient Ford Taurus, comes to a dead stop in front of the 18 wheeler. Apparently he missed his turn and decided to stop, reverse and go right. Well the 18 wheeler had about 5 seconds and he said to me, I can't be responsible for killing someone. I know he did something stupid, but I would have killed him if I hit him. It was him or me and I couldn't live with myself if I didn't do what I did. He was able to pump the brakes push off from the Taurus to the left, went down a 30 featuring embankment off the highway, truck caught on fire, but he survived. The Taurus didn't stop, didn't realize he almost died and almost killed someone else and was never to be heard from again. 2. This one's short. Tractor trailer loses brakes going down a steep road that levels every 50 yards. There is a tractor trailer going the opposite way. The one without brakes starts going airborne every time it hits a more level surface before a steeper grade going 60-70 miles per hour plus on a side road. Tractor trailer without brakes hits the other tractor trailer about 6 feet in the air. Broke a retaining wall. Tore a utility pole. Took out someone's front steps. Spilled cooking oil all into a reservoir. And you could not tell the tractor from the trailer. I'm not kidding. Best non-movie action I've ever seen. Worked in auto liability and homeowners liability claims for 3 years. Currently work in subrogation, recoveries, 
so I have a few and I'll my favorite from my dad who did it in the past. I had one where our insured's 40 year old daughter was living in her home but wasn't listed on the policy. We told the insured in the past day we won't insure them if the daughter resided in the home due to a mysterious disappearance of a ring. Daughter had drug issues as well. Well the daughter continued to reside in the home and took the insured's credit card and rented out a hotel room for her and her boyfriend to frick and do heroin. They passed out leaving candles burning. Candles caught drapes on fire which activated the sprinklers. Water damage to a total of 8 units due to water going down 4 levels between the walls. 130k in damages. We paid it and cancelled the insured. My dad had one where a guy claimed a B&E. My dad went to the home and everything felt off about it. First red flag was the windows were broken out not in so all the glass was on the outside. Next he was claiming 1000s in records being stolen. Well every record started with an RS or T. Guy showed Polaroids of his missing TV yet you could see in the reflection it being taken in a Walmart. My dad was going to deny the guy on sight but saw loaded handgun on the table. My dad denied on the phone. That guy was later arrested for beheading a prostitute. Whoa. That ending got. Unexpectedly dark. Oh my gosh. My time to shine. I once had a claim where our insureds were attacked by their neighbor's cow. The neighbor actually moved quite a while ago, but forgot one of the cows. Now when a cow is starving dehydrated I guess they go crazy insane. Which is what happened to this one. Our insured was standing outside, getting his mail, when the cow began charging at him. He ran to his door but the cow beat him to it and ran inside with our insured. Our insured wife then attempted to help get the cow away, and was apparently injured in the process. A cow caused damages to the home and injuries. Lesson is, don't forget your cows when you move. An acquaintance is an adjuster in marine insurance. He gets a claim for a total loss on a 1.9 million dollar yacht. Apparently the boat was too deep to try and salvage. He thought it was odd that only the owner was on board when it sunk and was rescued by CG. So he contracts a company who has a rov sub to dive down and check the wreck. Well, as it turns out, the boat was completely stripped. Even stuff that couldn't have floated away like TVs and appliances. Presented the owner with video evidence and rejected the claim. Stock analyst here. Covered insurance stocks for many years. I would always ask the CEOs what was their most fricked up claim. The one that sticks out in my mind was a building defect claim. New home built. Shower was supposed to have a fan installed but wasn't put in. Instead it had live wires hanging out. Husband and wife are having sexy shower time. She goes down on him and he reaches up to the ceiling. He touches wires and dies of heart attack. She gets major burns in her mouth. The other one involves a pet sitter. Playing fetch with dogs at a park with bluffs overlooking beach ocean. Pet sitter tosses ball. All the dogs chase it. One dog gets the ball and looks over the cliff edge. Dog opens mouth and drops the ball over the cliff. One dog jumps after it. I'm new to the game. But this one sticks out. Got a claim for a building fire. Total loss. Looking at about a million dollars. For a smallish company. Those claims are a big deal. But they happen. It's why we have reinsurance lol. Have the adjuster look at it, and get a fire expert and hack effort because the cause was a broiler. If it's the manufacturer, there may be potential subrogation. We get the money back by going after whoever was at fault. It turns out, this thing was Jerry rigged as frick to stay on after the safety shut off. And who did the Jerry rigging? The son of the insured who happened to be a plumber. So now, if they follow through on the claim, she'll get paid, but we'll go after her son for Sabra, and his plumber insurance likely won't cover it, they cover negligence, but this was done purposefully, even if there wasn't malicious intent. Fun stuff. So, if you are from the UK you have probably heard of the crash which happened at a pub in Glasgow a couple of years back, if not it was called the Clutha, have a look into it, it was pretty horrific. Quick rundown a police helicopter's engine failed and crashed into a very busy pub. Horrible accident lots dead, lots injured. Anyway, fast forward a few months after all the legitimate claimants were well in motion and being dealt with, the law firm I was working in at the time got a, what I would call a chancer, through claiming for psychological damages, which is all good and well if you were in the vicinity or lost a loved one. 
However, this chap was across an entire river from where you can barely see the pub and just saw the explosion too far to probably even hear any screams. After a lot of conversation about it one of the senior partners of the firm took the case, without giving any names. Personal info etc. That particular client got a recent payout of somewhere in the region of £15,000. That, guys, is why your insurance premiums are so high. Absolute waste of space chancing his arm has walked away with a year's wage for some people for absolutely frick all. You have been visited by the skilled papa reply jit gud, papa for good skill. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.